Stopping plaque can rupture, promoting thrombus formation by activating the coagulation cascade. Platelets in red blood cells aggregate at the site of injury, causing further narrowing of the artery. This impedes blood flow even more and causes turbulence in the artery. It also increases the likelihood of thrombus formation. As the thrombus grows, it causes increased vessel narrowing, leading to partial or even complete occlusion. The occluded artery leads to ischemia and tissue necrosis. When a piece of thrombus breaks off, it's called an embolus as it travels up the artery. During a stroke, ischemia can progress to infarction. Beyond the infarction lies still viable tissue called the penumbra. Cells within the penumbra are potentially salvageable if blood flow and vital oxygen are restored promptly. The penumbra is the focus of fibrinolytic treatment. Now let's look at the thrombus itself. Inside the thrombus are strands of fibrin, the protein that forms a clot. Enmeshed within the fibrin is plasminogen, the inactive precursor of plasmin. Activase is administered by IV infusion within three hours of acute ischemic stroke symptom onset. Activase binds to the fibrin in a thrombus and converts plasminogen to plasmin. Plasmin then breaks the strands of fibrin and dissolves the clot. As the clot dissolves, blood flow is restored and viable tissue may be reperfused. Although the original infarction remains, when surrounding cells in the penumbra are saved or reperfused, function may be restored.